Hi everyone and welcome back for another video. Today I will be showing you how to install NVIDIA ACE plugin and how to use the included sample project file. So to start, I'm going to open this link which I will leave in the description and go into ACE tools. Here you can find a link for the plugin which I'm going to open right now. Just click on it and it's gonna load this plugin here as you can see it's for Unreal Engine 5.4 go ahead and download it but if you are using Unreal Engine 5.3 a few days ago there was a link here for Unreal Engine 5.3 plugin but don't worry if you need it just go here copy the link and paste it in a new window and what you are going to do is very simple just go here into 4 delete and replace it with 3 and press enter and it's gonna give you the link for Unreal Engine 5.3 go ahead and download it alright I have downloaded both plugins so what you need to do here just go ahead and extract it for me I'm using Unreal Engine 5.4 so I'm going to extract this one then we are going to place this folder inside our Unreal Engine plugins folder for me it's under Epic Games 5.4 Engine Plugins Marketplace you may have to create the Marketplace folder if one does not already exist open it and paste it here all right now we got our plugin installed into unreal engine now let's download the sample project so we need to go back to the previous link then go here into ace unreal engine sample and click on it it's going to give you this file so go ahead and download it here i have the sample project downloaded so I'm going to right click and extract it here. Open the folder and here before you can open this project file you need to make sure which Unreal Engine you are using by clicking here. And here before you can press OK you need to make sure that you have installed Visual Studio. For me I have Visual Studio 2022. And since I'm using Unreal Engine 5.4, I'm gonna select it, then press OK and wait for it. Alright, now I'm going to double click on it. Here you need to rebuild the project. Just click yes. And again, make sure you have Visual Studio installed or you are going to run into some issues. Don't worry about these warnings. Just close it for now. Now we need to bring our metahuman character into the scene. I'm going into Quixel bridge you can import one of the presets here but I'm going to use my own meta humans so I'm going to select one from the list here I'm gonna select this one and export it import now select its skeleton mesh click import now I'm going back to the scene go into the content browser and I scroll down into my metahuman and I'm going to bring its blueprint class into the scene gonna zero everything here and here we got our metahuman character next we need to make few changes to the metahuman's blueprint class open this class by pressing edit here go to the viewport to see what's happening I would like to start by changing the LOD into zero to prevent it from switching compile and save next I'm going here to add the ACE audio curve source adding this component would allow our metahuman character to receive audio to face animation and it's gonna be added into the target actor drop down in the user interface which we are going to see later this project includes some test audio clips which can be added into our character we can add them by going here and making an empty scene then go back 
and select all these audio clips then drag and drop them under empty scene which we can give the name audio go ahead compile and save now let's go back to our scene this project also includes some basic idle animations which we can retarget to our character just go ahead control a select all right click and retarget animations here we need to select our metahuman skeleton which is this one then let's locate animation assets which is ftu just write it here now i'm going to select these two animations Control a again then export animations now i'm going to select a place to save and give it a name I'm going to add prefix and hit export export all right now our idle animations are ready retargeted for our metahuman character now we need to select our character go into body scroll down and and into animation mode are going to select use animation asset and select that asset that we have retarget just select it here now if you hit play you're going to see this message just press play and it differs on flink wearing the mask and zero reaction well all right as you heard there are some noise many voices playing at once and that's because if you go here and select any audio file and if you scroll down into activation you see that auto activate is checked and without this deselected all of these clips began playing when the game starts so what are we going to do now is very simple just click here select all of them by pressing shift and go into activation and and check this compile and save now if we go back and play you won't hear anything and if you press this magnifier and a focus on the character which is selected here so if we add more than one character they are going to be listed here and this character is listed here because we have the ace component added here and if you have more characters with that component they are going to be listed here if you go here and select audio file you can't play it and there is no facial animation so if we go into settings here we see that the nvidia cloud functions ABI key is missing so let's get one you can close this I'm going to open this link which I will leave in the description go ahead and press login write your email click next then go to try API and go here into get ABI key press it then generate key then copy this key and close now i'm going back into unreal engine i'm going to place it here okay then you can close this one and select any audio file let me select this one then if i hit play in the stillness of nature i find a profound sense of calmness that rejuvenates my spirit so now our project is working it's sending audio file and receiving animation back and if you go here we have more options it's like audio to face application you can play with these settings another thing you can hide this user interface by pressing h and show it again same key all right so that's all for today's video if you enjoyed please like and subscribe and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below so with that being said thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video